So on these examples, um, again, we're doing the same thing for the third round. Determine is it inside or outside. If you are multiplying something that is outside, we know it's going to be vertical stretch or compression. If you're multiplying your value inside the function, it's horizontal or compression. So for the third time today, I've done 8, 4, I've done 12. Now we're going to do 8 more, so that's 20 examples we're doing of just identifying is it inside or outside. So we look at there. We're multiplying uh, out, out, outside, outside, right? We're multiplying outside. <laughs> so, we now we, so we know we're multiplying outside. OK, so I look at my vertical compression or vertical. I see C, which is that number, the absolute value. Since that's greater than 1, it's a vertical stretch. I know I could have written this one better. That's why I kind of redid it over there. So the absolute value of C is greater than 1, so therefore it's a vertical stretch. So vertical stretch. Actually, I'm just going to do vertical stretch factor of 2. Then I see here, again, I'm multiplying the outside, but the absolute value of C is less than 1. So now it's a vertical compression factor of 1 half. That's basically your factor is like what you're uh, multiplying by that purple space. All right, this next one, h of x, you can see that I am multiplying a 3 inside the function. It's under the radicals. You know, it's inside the function. 3, absolute value of c is greater than 1. So it's a horizontal compression. So you got to see they're flip-flopped. If it's greater than 1 for vertical, it's a stretch. If it's greater than 1 for horizontal, it's a compression. OK, on to the next one. You see on now, I'm multiplying by 1 fourth. It's inside the parentheses, inside the function. So therefore, it's a horizontal compression factor 1 fourth. That's, yes, question. Stop? Oh, OK. Now, we get to the next one. Nobody's going to sleep. Now, these reciprocal functions sometimes, yes, question. Oh, I didn't write it straight. Yeah, it should be stretch. I, sent, I think I said, thank you. It's in there. C, when the absolute value of C is less than 1, it's a stretch. Thank you. Um, all right. Now, this, this gets pretty confusing because we have numbers in the numerator, denominator, and numerator and denominator. Um, so we didn't talk about doing two different functions at one time, but I want you guys to understand this. What is my general function here? But it's x in the denominator. So the general function, the, the one, over x. 1 over x is my main function, right? So what am I multiplying 1 over x by to get it to be 2 over x? Just multiplying by 2. What am I multiplying 1 over um, x by to get 1 over 3x? You could think about multiplying it by 1 third. Or exactly what you said. Or you could think about it as multiplying by 3 in the denominator. And I'm going to talk about that in just a second. Here, you could think about it as multiplying it by 3 halves. Okay? So I wanted to show this to you guys because you can write it as multiplying it by the outside or multiplying the inside. Actually, let me get to that one second. All right. So anyways, let's go to this one. You're multiplying by 2 on the outside, right? Anytime it's in the numerator, you could say, yeah, it's multiplying by 2 on the outside. Um, 2 is absolute value 2 is greater than 1, so we could say it's a vertical stretch 2. I'm just going to abbreviate that with a 2. And sorry, guys, this is kind of a, it's, it's a long day. I'm going to have to get through two examples here as well. Um, over here, you could think about this. If you multiply by 1 third on the outside, it's a vertical stretch. 
vertical stretch of one third, whereas here it'd be a horizontal compression of three. Agreed? So both are right. Both technically are right. And this only happens on um, odd functions. I'm sorry, it's, it's going to happen on both. But if you look at this, the same thing, because think about a quadratic. Actually, it doesn't really matter. You can actually do it for all. But if you think about it, remember when we did quadratics? Remember when we like stretched them? Well, remember, the stretch is like the same thing as like compression, right? But the factors are going to be different the way that you're looking at it. Um, but whenever we're dealing with odd functions, you can go between the two. Yes? Uh, vertical compression, horizontal compression. Absolute value of that is going to be a compression. That you're multiplying by three is a horizontal compression. Yeah, I'm not following my own notes, am I? Uh, one third of a stretch, which is obviously that is a compression. Why am I? And. Yeah. Right. That doesn't make sense in my explanation, though. Hmm. Oh, okay. One third and third. One third and three. Yeah. Okay. Um, over here, you could say you're multiplying by three halves. Over here, you're multiplying by three halves. Over here, you multiply by 3 halves, which is a fraction, which a lot of students say, oh, it's a fraction. But is that fraction less than 1 or greater than 1? Greater than 1. Greater than one. So therefore, it's, an, again, another example of a vertical stretch. So a vertical stretch um, factor of 3 halves. And then over here, you're multiplying by 2 inside the function. Inside the function is greater than 1, so it's a horizontal compression. Horizontal compression of a factor of two. Plus or minus. All right. Sorry. <laughs>